What's up YouTube, Mark Knox here for Dart Frog Dojo. In this video series, we're going to put together a CAD Lights 2 70 gallon professional artisan 2 tank. All right, so what you see behind me is the 70 gallon tank from CAD Lights. I picked it up off of uh, iOffer or was it Craigslist or OfferUp, one of those apps that you use to buy things locally. I got a really good deal on it and I couldn't pass it up. I really wasn't looking to get a bigger tank because I'm in the process of rebuilding my frog room and I really wanted to focus on my dart frogs, but I couldn't uh, pass up the offer that I saw. So I decided to get a bigger reef tank and, addition, and add it to my frog room. The problem is, I think I went a little overboard. So let me show you what came with it and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do to it. All right, so the tank is in pretty good condition. It's not scratched or anything, it's that uh, it has a little coralline algae on the back, you know, but it's to be expected from a used tank. The kid used it for a while and then uh, had to tear it down. All right, so this is what came with it. Oh boy, did my light die? Let's see, I had a light up under here. Oh, nope, it's still on. All right, so let's, let's do that. All right, so came with, uh, it has a glass sump that comes, I guess, with the Cadillac tanks. Then it had a uh, filter sock holder, I guess went into that, to this first chamber. And then it had this little light, and I guess that's the second chamber where they put the uh, Chato or Refugium. And then it came with that little, uh, that Phoenix 300 watt. And here, and then the return pump is a CJ2 or 3, I'm not sure. It's a uh, CJ2. All right. And it looks like this. Tear, tear shit up. Uh, this worked perfect the way he had it set up. This would go up here. This kind of that was connected up there. Came down. Went into the filter socket. Everything worked out great. And then I think for the return, the return pump was connected using, using these green hoses, and uh, everything was good. So that's the way I assume he had it set up. The way it comes from CAD lights. Um, but uh, that's not good enough for me. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do. All right, so this is the stuff I got that I plan to use for the tank. Um, the only thing I plan to salvage is uh, using the uh, drain. I'm gonna actually cut it off right here. And then I'm gonna add the uh, plumbing and salvage that, that uh, valve there. Other than that, uh, we have a Reef Octopus Elite 150 DC skimmer. Uh, Neptune's Apex got a uh, Reef Octopus uh, Varios 2 for my return pump. I might need to upgrade that if I plan on putting a what's that thing called? A uh, uh, you know, with the multiple spigots, I forgot what it's called, it slips my mind. Anyway, I'm going to modify the uh, eShops R200 Fugium to handle this Bubble Magus medium uh, roller mat filter. Then I also have a bubble magus uh, dosing pump, which I plan to use. And then, like I mentioned before, this is the uh, R200 Fugium. Got a couple bulk reef supply uh, chambers. What are they called? Uh, of course, it slips my mind. Um, I'll get back to those. Anyway, this is all my plumbing from BRS and a couple pieces from eBay and Home Depot. Uh, these are max spec gyre uh 250s um this is the heater uh got a refugium light from uh, kessel along with uh, 360s and a controller and that pretty much sets me up so i got my sump got everything set and then uh, i'll show you in my next video got about 200 pounds of live rock uh, real reef live rock i picked up also so this is the catch from the tank and everything here, everything is pre-owned except for the Refugium. Bought that brand new from the, uh, my local LFS, uh, or my LFS, not local LFS, duh. But all of this stuff was bought on eBay and Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. Nothing brand new. Um, maybe at the end I'll share you share you share with you what the prices were but i refuse to pay regular prices for all this crap it's too expensive unless i have to uh, i could have got the sum for a lot cheaper but i didn't want to drive an hour and a half so to me 50 bucks was worth paying regular price all right so in this build i plan on taking everything that came used and use it with you more more used stuff 
and put together a nice tank. Hopefully you like, hopefully you follow, hopefully you enjoy. I told you I probably went a little overboard. Uh, what do you think? Would you have left it the way it was with the original sump and the green hose and the CJ pump and all of that stuff? Or would you have used all of this? Um, well, let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, at any rate, I uh, hope you decide to follow along with this 70-gallon build. This is my first time upgrading. I've had my BioCube for a couple years and I finally took the plunge to get a bigger reef tank. Uh, about 10 years ago, I had a 75 or 90 gallon fish only tank with live rock. This is my first time getting a big reef tank set up like this. So I've been doing a lot of research. I've been paying attention to all you guys that's been, that's been posting on the forums and hopefully that information pays off. All right, uh, if you like what you saw, give a thumbs up. Um, and what else do they say? So give a thumbs up and so you like it. Oh, and subscribe. That's the other one. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Um, and I think that, oh, it's a media reactor. I know I'll figure it out.